Hey guys, welcome back to Three Generations Restoration. Um, past couple days we purchased a few tractors, so I figured I'd show you what we got. Been a little slow on uh, some of them other Alice's we've been restoring, so I just kind of want to show you what we got. So uh, I'll take you on a quick tour. Okay guys, so the first tractor we bought last week is a John Deere 420 Utility and Serial number is 134055, and you can, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got the U on it, so. That makes this a 420 utility. We've had a few of these before, some yellow, some orange. This one looks like it's just going to be green. It does need a little bit of work, as you can see. It's, I don't know why, but the tires are on opposite. I think it's because they had this loader on it. Um, we are going to be taking this loader off. It does work, it just doesn't work the best. Um, it's gonna need a new seat cushion. It's got three point on the back, but unfortunately it doesn't work, so we're gonna pull it off. I think it has something to do with this little control valve here. Um, and you can kinda tell that it's kinda just a greasy mess. But nonetheless, it's a good runner. It starts right up, um, the only, the only thing that it probably is going to need really is a little bit of steering column work, which is no big deal. It needs a little bit of carburetor work. The carburetor seems to leak quite a bit when it um, is running, so there's not too bad of a problem. It's just a, by the looks of it, a Zenith. Looks like it's probably been replaced at some point So with a Chinese carburetor, but it works, so that's what matters um, the throttle also doesn't work the best it kind of lost its spring tension so we're gonna have to uh, fix that but otherwise it's a good running tractor so we're gonna get this one going all right so the next tractor we bought was a 1926 McCormick Deering 1020 and it's on all steels which is you don't see that very often. It's got the complete set of side curtains and uh, fenders are still on the back, although they aren't in the best shape, they're still there. And at some point someone did kind of re rebuild them, which they did a pretty decent job. Um, it's got the extension on this side for the furrow, which is pretty neat. Although I don't know if we're gonna leave it on or take it off. Uh, we do have the belt pulley on so that's good the mag is still on it's got the brass carburetor on it which is good the only thing we're missing on this is the upper um, the upper air cleaner pipe or cover so we just got a can on it right now to keep rain out of it and as you can see under here we're also kind of missing the exhaust tube that goes from the manifold to here which is no big deal i can probably make something up that'll fix that issue but we got a nice little 1020 that we're going to be able to work on and the engine turns over so i'll just show you guys so kind of just like our t20 just a little bit older don't know if the mag is working. Obviously didn't hear an impulse coupler, so we'll obviously get to work on this. And the final tractor we got over this little couple past weeks was a Farmall M. And this is a 1939 Farmall M, so the first year they made them. The serial number is 6,005, 6,065. So that puts it 1939. The only things wrong with this are it is going to need a sediment bowl as you guys can kind of see it's leaking pretty bad and supposedly the radiator leaked but oh yeah I can kind of see a little right here um, it's not too bad but it's a strong runner it runs good um, not the best tires on it but that's all right so this one will obviously get to as well so now we got two M's. Obviously you guys saw the last video where we got that M. So now we got two M's to do. 
looks like we got a little bit of a mud dower nest in there to get rid of but yeah we got ourselves some projects but I do think I'm going to be looking forward to doing this 1020 we haven't had one of these in a while so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for some restorations and stay tuned for both of these tractors and that M because we're going to be working on them here shortly. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.